within every moment. Within every conscious moment resides complete access to every other consciousness in the universe. Now, I say conscious moment because as denizens of deep cultural programming, which is egocentric bias, our mind gets occupied and even obsessed with the past or future, getting tangled up in micromanagement and unnecessary problem solving to ease niggling worries and concerns. This bumps us off our simple state of just being, where the attention is fully immersed in the now moment, fully aware, fully engaged in all perceptions. There is a condition of non-detached detachment, where we feel everything, but have no ego response to it that would otherwise engage the mind in judgments and conclusions. It is a state of consciousness within which all dimensions of existence are perceived, and information flows unimpeded wherever the attention goes. All living things are telepathic in the sense that when the attention is focused and pure, intentions and thoughts are perceived as broadcasts to and from points of consciousness. We have only to observe and acknowledge. In non-human species, without a spoken language, this is how communication is done perhaps assisted by body language, sound making, and timing, such as in the animal kingdom. I believe what makes humans unique is that we have the ability to access our creator, the eternal source of being. In other words, we possess the God gene and are capable of reading the mind of God. Of course, there is a dark side to this with the exploitation of the voice of God experiments ongoing by the CIA and DARPA, manipulating the vesicular monoamine transmitter 2 chemical responsible for dopamine-stimulated mystical experience. It was found that this mechanism can be artificially stimulated by electronic waves and even modulated into language, thus the voice of God. Of course, by entering into a connected, detached state fully in the present moment, such broadcasts would be seen for what they are, and hence would lose their intended personalization. Although everybody has the ability to achieve this state, it's the level of mind chatter and ego-connected emotions that effectively block access to it. Add to this a ubiquitous mass media conglomerate incessantly promoting existential threats, and it's easy to see why so many of us end up in fear states unable to gain the situational awareness necessary to focus on the present moment, let alone gain some modicum of detached connection. This is why it's so important to make it a priority to retreat into the silence alone or with friends and loved ones and recover the presence where peace resides and a panoramic loving connection with all of life is made. By residing in this state, the truth of situations is revealed and motivations become obvious. Solutions to problems become clear, and help from guides and angelic realms is easily available. Recovering our presence is a skill, just like any technique gets easier the more it's done. But here are some suggested steps to help, you know, get there. 1. Drop down into the heart space. 2. Become aware of being aware. 3. Observe your mind and how thoughts and feelings are independent of your causation. 4. Stop trying to think, intend, or feel anything. 5. Become aware of a connection to a higher and greater sense of being. At this point, it may be much easier to look out at the world and perceive other points of consciousness and their intentions and thoughts. It also becomes clear that we are choosing our experiences moment by moment and that there are infinite possibilities to choose from. Further, each moment is a new universe of experience, and as we choose to perceive it, that becomes the trajectory of our lives. In many shamanistic traditions and many ancient tribal cultures, there is the concept of seeing, where what is seen is from the viewpoint that everything is energy. A person who sees perceives not only the mundane form before them, but also where it came from, where it's going, 
how it is connected to the world in colors, energy flows, gravitational waves, and even how what is seen relates to the personal experience of a seer, including their dream time and waking thoughts. As Dr. Stephen Greer has said, Read the book of your own self and you'll know. It's all folded within you. The entirety of the cosmos and all these dimensions are folded within like a quantum hologram that's conscious inside every single human being and every single sentient being. I'll take it a step further. It's actually folded within every point in space and time and every grain of sand has within it all of these folded in because it's infinity within infinity within infinity. Right now, right here, are the infinite possibilities within every moment. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.